Morning folks, the shaving cream is Arco, and this one here is the the cool one, <laughs> the cool Arco, huh? Yeah, got the cool Arco uh, shaving cream, and gonna be following up with the Arco uh, aftershave cream. And I'll be using this one here off camera. I usually take a little while working it in and whatnot. But um, also I should point out, it says 100 grams right here, and I'll talk about this just a little bit more in just a moment. I got the lather whipped up here with the, uh, get this turned around. See that, that's a, the shaving is sailor. This is a 3D printed brush handle and it got a cashmere knot in it. So what it looks like there whipped up in the bowl. It's fairly wet. You can see it's not quite drippy, but it, it's, it's, it's pretty wet, nice and moist. My nose, when I take a whiff of it, I, I just smell soap. I don't pick up anything in particular. Uh, not not from, uh, at least not from there, I don't. <laughs> blade choice of today. Uh, gonna be a feather blade. And I have it in a Parker 87R. This one here has the nice thick handle on it, uh, kind of short. Even by description, it even mentions that it's a short handle. That's what it looks like there. And probably should make a show as it goes through the operation of here that uh, you see that there's a gap in between, I guess you might say the barrel and the knob here. And when you go to open it up, that gap disappears. Just something kind of unique. But anyway, just little things that amuse somebody, huh? <laughs> Anyway, I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning and uh, probably got to wet the face first, get the pre-shaved cube going. It's a Thursday morning. And I think we're supposed to be getting some more rain today. Unless they change their mind again. Weather's been a little odd. I think yesterday they said we're supposed to be getting close to 80 and uh, there for the longest I think we were struggling just to get 70. Don't think the clouds cleared, cleared out like they expected. The sun come through. But at least it didn't seem to be quite as windy. Stirring up a bunch of stuff, irritating my nose. <laughs> You can kind of see it doesn't take very long to take the pre-shaped cube, whip up a little bit of cream there. It looks pretty good. I can uh, smell uh, that pre-shaped cube is uh, it's got some menthol in it, and I can pick it up with my nose more so than what I can with the uh, with the shaving cream. So if you're wondering if it it's got a lot of uh, menthol to it or anything quite like that, I at least per from my nose and what I've experienced it does and there's just enough to let you know it's there and that's about it. But it's a pretty decent shaving cream and finding the shaving cream in stock is a bit of a chore. So I looked on Amazon and uh, if you watch some videos here of recent history, uh, Amazon sometimes their descriptions isn't quite exactly right. So you have to, I guess you might say, do your homework and know what you're looking at. Make sure I say this right. Yes, 100 grams. Okay. That's what it says on this tube. When you look on Amazon, it tells you that, okay, you, they got Arco shaving cream and it's six ounces. But nowhere in the pictures does it say six ounces. Well, 100 grams is not six ounces. And it doesn't tell you that you're getting two tubes. It just indicates you're just getting the one tube. My experience has been that Arco doesn't make shaving cream in a... <laughs> in a six ounce tube. <laughs> That's my experience. I could be wrong. Maybe I just haven't shopped at the right location just yet. <laughs> but as far as I know, they don't put shaving cream 
<laughs> six ounce tube. It's smaller tube. So I, uh, it's just one of those things that you might want to look into, ask a question before you order it, uh, at least through Amazon when you find some uh, descriptions that's a little bit flaky or they don't tell you the uh, the size. I mean, it's good that they break it down in ounces for you. Here in the States, you know, that's pretty much what we work off of as opposed to the metric system, you know, liters and grams and milliliters and, you know, what I'm talking about. It's just when we work with ounces, we, we know what we're getting. Otherwise, you have to convert the milliliters or the grams into ounces to figure out what size you're getting. But anyway, just thought I'd point that out. I kind of had you had to pay attention to what the advertisement saying because of none of the pictures gave you a good view, at least well enough to even see where it would tell you what size you're getting from a picture, which usually it's on the labeling. But I never could find it. But I did find some Arco. It usually runs right around the, as goes price-wise, around five bucks. It's not exactly expensive. Last time I got mine, I got it on an Italian Barber, but it seems to be out of stock quite a while. So it kind of falls in that category. If you really want it and you do find it in the stock and it's at the price that you want it at and the shipping's reasonable, you might want to go ahead and get it. As it goes for Parker, I would consider the shaver maybe the upper end of mild or medium. Uh, just depends on what blade you're using. Um, I'm using a feather blade right now and um, it seems to be working out quite well with this razor. But I'm also used to a certain amount of blade feel. It's a feels like a pretty good shave with a, a feather blade. I kind of work off the, usually work off the idea that uh, if you have a mild blade, you put a feather blade in it, in other words, a sharp blade in it. Not only will you get more uses out of your feather blade, but you might increase the efficiency of a mild shaver. And if you have an aggressive one, you put in a milder blade, maybe it won't feel so edgy to you. Now against the green pass is where I really notice I've got a feather blade. Through the with the green pass, against the uh, with the green and across the green, I didn't really notice it too much. But against the green, especially where it gets a little bit thicker in growth, I notice that there that's a feather blade. <laughs> now I feel it. <laughs> Nice shave this morning. Yeah, I I do enjoy this shaver. It is one of my favorites from Parker. And if you haven't seen enough of my videos, I really do like Parker razors. They're inexpensive in the grand scheme of things. I mean, usually most of their uh, razors, as goes for uh, DEs, will fall in a category of right around the $30 mark. Maybe a little bit less, maybe just a little bit more. Uh, depending if it's got rose gold or something like that. But it is, the, to me, they've always been uh, budget-minded shavers. I haven't had any problems with the quality. Uh, I really like the razors. They're a good place to start. And normally you can find them in stock. <laughs> Phoenix Otters and Accoutrement Salad Block complete with rubber band this morning. To me, that that's uh, that's something that is nice. That you, especially nowadays, you can go and find what you're wanting in stock, pick it up, buy it, go on about your day, and not have to search the web, hunting everywhere trying to find it. And uh, Arco shaving cream has been hit and miss for. Well, even before the pandemic, it wasn't exactly always in um, in stock. 
at least when I was looking for it. All right, going with Humphreys, Witch Hazel, Unscented. I'll show you here in just a moment what that uh, aftershave cream looks like. It's, I think I would go with the, uh, the way that it's named. In other words, instead of calling it an aftershave balm, I would call it an aftershave cream also because it doesn't come out quite like most balms. It, it's a bit thicker. Go ahead and squirt this out here. It looks an awful lot like a lotion. You can see right there, it, it doesn't slide down your hand. It's not runny. It's, it's a lot like a lotion or a cream. It just, that's, that's how it comes out. Anyway, I'm going to work this into my face. I had a great shave this morning. It's Thursday. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shades to you.